Hey everyone, we are in a new month, but before I can fully jump into February, I need to take a moment or two and look back at January. So I do two videos every month that are favorites videos. The first one is my favorites, and that's what we're doing today. And then later in the month, I'm gonna look back at my best sellers from January. Those are your favorites, and we'll talk about those. For now, it's all about me, not really, but it's about what my favorites were. And January, admittedly, was not my favorite month for a lot of reasons. My intentions were to start with my clothing favorites, but I needed to touch up my makeup, and I realized that a lot of the stuff I was gonna reach for are in fact some of my favorites for January. So let's start off with my five beauty favorites. First off is this compact, which is not just a pretty compact, although it is. It's new from M Cosmetics and it's called their Portrait Mode Refining Setting Powder. So inside the pretty compact is a lovely mirror and a nice, very thin, I don't even wanna call it a puff, a pad, and you can use it to touch up your makeup. I love that it removes shine without drying me up because I actually have quite dry skin. And in real life, I'm not actually all that shiny, but even though I'm not even using artificial lighting, the camera lens sucks in a lot of light, it bounces stuff off, so I generally look shinier on camera than I am in real life, but I love this. And when the weather warms up, as we know it will do in South Texas, this is gonna be great for reducing shine without adding cakiness. Another way I like to apply it, specifically to just touch up, is with another one of my favorites, and I'm so excited because now you can buy this in Singles. So this is part of the BK Beauty Nikki LaRose collaboration. This is specifically, I don't know what it is called specifically, but it's their, I think, medium precision powder brush. And I love it for precision powdering, like under my eyes here. See, I can keep adding powder and I don't get cakey. And then just in the T-zone is where I generally look shiny, at least on camera. So I love this. And this generally lives where I do my makeup. And we're gonna talk more about that when we get to lifestyle favorites. Another favorite has to do with the fact that I do not have any lipstick on. So let's start with that. This lip liner. I have really been getting into lip liners in January. I purchased a lot of them. And I'm sure I will share more of them over time. But the standout ones were not the ones I bought at the department store. They are these new, CoverGirl Simply Ageless lip liners. I picked up two, Elegant Nude and Amazing Petal, and I love them both, but Amazing Petal is winning. I have been on the lookout for a lip liner that is automatic and it's creamy and it's the right shade of pink. Basically my lips, but a little bit pinker. And this is the winner. Hang on, there, I, I feel like I can do a lot of things, but talk and apply lip liner, that I cannot do. One second. I love these, they're so creamy, they stay put. I filled in my whole lip. I have been wearing a lot of just a little bit of lip pencil with an easy gloss over it because my lips have been so chapped. I've used all the things, Aquaphor, Vaseline, all the high-end lip balms between allergies, freezing cold temps, and yes, crying. There's been a lot of mouth breathing, so it's just, I'm just gonna have to deal with it for now. They're feeling pretty good right now. The next beauty favorite is actually something I was influenced to purchase by some friends of mine who are also influencers. It's two best friends, it's a joint account. No, it's not Mommy's Makeup and Moscato who are also a very good friend of mine and they, they do influence me to buy a lot of things as well. But this is another influencer duo and their joint account is called A Spoiled Home. They do home, they do clothing, they do beauty. They're an amazing account on Instagram. And one of them was wearing, she was actually sharing about some women's health issues. It was a very serious topic she was talking about in stories. And I messaged her, said, yes, yes, that's all very sad, but can you please tell me what's on your lips? We can joke around for friends. And she said it was this. It's the It Cosmetics, I think it's the Confidence in a Gloss Serum, Serum Gloss, specifically in the shade Self Worth. And when I got it, I thought this is a mistake. This has a brownish tint to it, but it has this magical pinkness once you apply it to the lips. And it works really well over all kinds of lip pencils and lipsticks and by itself and it smells delicious. I'm a big fan of all of the lip oils, but if you want like a true pigmented lip gloss, more of a true gloss feeling, this is fantastic. And now I wanna explore more of that line. And then the last of my beauty favorites that I wanna talk about is a new one from Persona Cosmetics. And it's their, I think it's called their Dream Stick, bronzing stick, something dream stick. They have a bronzer and they have a blush. And you saw me use this in my last video, the Unpopular Opinions, where I also got ready. It 
blends like a dream. If you have ever been a little intimidated by cream bronzers because you're worried it's gonna get orange or it's gonna be all over your face and it's gonna get splotchy, this is amazing. I try not to screw up on camera, but it happens and when it does, I need to own up. I told y'all that I was wearing the shade Dune. I don't know why. I am not wearing the shade Dune. I'm wearing the shade Mojave and it's carried at Ulta and at Persona Cosmetics and I think one of those may be sold out. So I'm gonna list both of those in the description box. I'm also wearing their Dreamstick blush today. Haven't listed that in a favorites yet because I've only worn it a handful of times. It's a really pretty color though and I'm wearing it in the shade Bloom. And as I'm looking, I feel like I didn't blend it enough. So let's just say that the bronzer is definitely a favorite. I'm still working on the blush. Okay, I'm gonna scooch over so I can slide in some pictures of clothing favorites. I do wanna add this caveat before we get into the clothing favorites in that it was really cold here and I'm gonna be a baby about it, but I live in South Texas where the average high in January is about mid to upper 60s. So when it gets into the 20s and even the teens and single digits with a wind chill, that is too cold for me. And I know many of you may not know this, I was born and raised in the Chicago area, but I have lived in Texas over 25 years and my blood is thin. All that to say, I did not wanna get dressed. Hats off to all y'all who live up north and who continue to put together cute outfits in this freezing cold weather. I did not wanna leave the house. I did not wanna come out from the bed there's like an old Southern saying, I took to the bed. I wanted to take to the bed, it's freezing. Okay, so didn't put together as many cute outfits as I would like. I have a lot of cute clothes that I hauled in the month of January, but I haven't been able to wear them. So I wanna share what I actually wore and loved this month. So first off from Walmart, a full restock, pretty full restock of their scuba knit blazer. Love this blazer. And as soon as you figure out what size you are in the scoop line, that's the size you are pretty much across the board. I initially had these blazers in a size small and they're just a little too oversized for what I want them to be. I feel like they are not meant to be fitted. So get your true size. So I now have it in pink. I ordered it in black and in the oatmeal heather gray. Uh, I have it in a cream shade. I have it in purple. There's quite a few colors. The only color they don't have that I really want is navy. I don't know why they haven't put out a navy. It's not like Walmart watches me or knows me, but if anyone knows Walmart, can you tell them? We, we need that blazer in a navy. It's just so easy and it doesn't wrinkle and it travels well and you can scrunch it up and throw it in the back of your car and pull it out when you get cold. It's just such a great blazer. It's You can dress it up, you can dress it down. It's so versatile. Walmart right now is carrying a ton of amazing blazers that I really enjoy, but the scuba knit is just next level. My next clothing favorite from January was specifically if I had to narrow it down to one piece from my recent Quince haul, it was the crew neck cashmere sweater. My only regret, I've said this before, I'll say it again, is that I didn't order from Quince sooner and I can guarantee you, you're gonna see a lot more from this company because I am just floored by the quality and by the selection. But this crew neck cashmere sweater, 50 bucks, it also comes in extended sizing for slightly more, a ton of colors, it wears well, I've worn it over and over and over. Some of you have commented on that Quince haul that, oh, I don't think the quality matches up to XYZ, like the Vince cashmere sweaters. Well, this isn't a $400 sweater or a $300 sweater, it's a $50 sweater. I think the quality is fantastic. I think the fact that it's a budget-friendly option and I don't feel like it's a noticeable difference. I'm not inspecting seam. I mean, I don't know what you're looking for, but I feel very well put together and warm and I think it's a lovely sweater. And that is why it is one of my clothing favorites for January. So I've mentioned that it's been a little cold. And so this half zip or quarter zip sweatshirt jogger sweatpants set from Amazon is something I lived in. I wore it over and over and over. And if you're wondering why there were days you didn't see me post an outfit, it's because I wore this a lot of days and that's just real life. I was really cold. I will say that this wore extremely well over the cashmere t-shirt that I got from Quince. That was a nice extra warm layer. So love that, comes in a bunch of colors. And if you just need something to grab and throw on, this was actually what I wore when we had to leave the house at two o'clock in the morning and make the decision to say goodbye to Mimi. So I don't know that I'm actually gonna wear this again, but it's still a favorite and I wanted to share it with you. I may reorder it in a different color just because I don't know that I want to wear that outfit again. Okay, so that was a favorite. I think all y'all will love it. Me, there's some maybe not so great memories attached to it, but I need to share it with you. Okay, another thing I want to share does also relate to the dogs, but it's, it's okay. I can talk about this one. We have to accompany our dogs outside. I can't just let them out in the backyard and let them do their thing. I have terriers, a terrier. They're diggers. Rowdy, if left to his own devices, might dig up 
I don't know, like electrical wire. So we don't let them out there unsupervised too long, which means even when it's freezing cold and dark outside, I need to go out there and supervise. So this down jacket I've had for years, it's the Amazon coat. Let me tell you, it lives up to the hype. I was so snug in that, so warm. Most of the time just left it draped over the bar stool right here, just outside of the camera's range. So I could just throw it on and take the dogs outside. If you need a coat like this, it's not the most budget friendly, but if you're looking for a down, a true down coat that will really keep you warm, this is right around hundred dollars. It comes in a ton of colors. And there's a, another style that they're known for that I will also link, but I really loved this one with the faux fur trim hood because it rained a lot this month and it kept me dry and it kept me warm and I really, really recommend it. And sticking with comfort and warmth and not wanting to get dressed, when I wanted to pretend that I was looking a little bit more put together this month, this knit sweater black set, it comes in other colors, but I felt like wearing black head to toe made me look a little more chic and put together. We're gonna pretend like that's true. I felt like if I had to actually leave the house but still didn't really wanna put like a whole outfit together, this one worked really well. I love it and if you're still living with more cold. I think everyone watching up north still has a few months to go. You might wanna look into this one. And I love that unlike all the other knit sets I recommend, this one actually has pockets. All right, let's talk about some accessories. I feel like I've shared these before, but I need to share them because I lived in these on the days that it wasn't freezing cold because I don't wear socks with these. These loafers, it's from a brand that's new to me, relatively new, Pelamoda. I now have three pairs of shoes from this line and I'm really impressed. Looking forward to exploring more of their spring summer options soon. But I just like this little embellishment across the top of the foot, these little crystals here. What I also love about them is they're a little more elevated, they're real suede, well-made, and they were comfortable and did not need to be broken in. I could wear them straight out of the box and they just go with all the things. I believe they also come in a few other colors, but I love this warm, beige tan. Another shoe that I legitimately wore the most, this exact one is sold out. So these are not the UGG mini shorty boots. These are the Walmart version of those. Those are sold out too, but there is an exact version on Amazon. Comes in a few color options. I have these in two colors. These just worked. They work as walking around the house slippers. They work to throw on to walk the dogs kind of slippers. If you need to run errands, this works because they're really short. They work with a lot of the pant styles that I like to wear. The skinnier ones you can tie in because they're short they still fit under the hem of the straight leg style I love these had to recommend the Amazon slash Walmart version so you don't feel so guilty about wearing them in the wet and the snow and whatever because they're not as expensive as the real Uggs I have two pairs of earrings that I want to recommend these were a gift over the holidays and now they are on final clearance on the Kendra website and still full price and returnable on the Nordstrom website these are the Mickey Pave earrings and they come in a few other colors, but I love this sort of pinkish orchid shade and they're huggies and they hinge and they're very lightweight and they just add a little pop of color and sparkle to an outfit. Like they would look great with this outfit and I had to recommend them because I reach for them quite a bit. And if you can pick up this color specifically still, I think it would be also fun to wear for Valentine's. The other earrings I wanna mention, these are some statement earrings. I wore them a couple times in January. We had a date night. We went out to see Ron White in concert. That was not necessarily favorite, but the outfit was, and then I went to celebrate 10 years of Colleen Rothschild beauty up in Dallas towards the end of January. And I wore these with a little black lace dress. They make a statement. They are really, really lightweight and they are super affordable. So I will link those below and they're from a brand new online boutique that is based here in San Antonio, Texas. So I'm really excited about that. And you'll probably hear more about that retailer as I explore them a little bit more. So I just wanted to share these and aren't they fun? I just love them. You don't even need to save them for a fancy outfit. Like I think they would look fun with this outfit too. And then the last accessory I want to mention, I've shared these before, but I have really been loving these frames and reaching for them more than all the other peepers glasses that I wear. Even though my contacts do have the multifocal so I can see near and far sighted corrected with these, with all the work I do in front of a screen, towards the end of the day, my eyes get really tired. So I do reach for these. These are the bangle frames and they come in a few colors. This is, I think the navy or the blue tortoiseshell. There is also like a regular tortoiseshell. There's a few colors. I just like the slightly thinner frame while it's still oversized. It comes in various magnifications or if you don't need magnification but you still want the blue light blockers, they have the zero magnification as well. I just think it's a really flattering frame. I think it's fun to have the oversized readers but I like the 
this thinner one on me. Okay, I have some large items to share for my lifestyle home favorites. So the first is this makeup organizer and it also comes with a brush holder. Let me open the lid so you can see a little better inside. So it has this lid and then it has two drawers underneath it. And this has been sitting on my counter for the whole month, pretty much January. And I really like it because it keeps everything I need just contained and neatly together. Is it the most well-made construction? No, it's fairly, it's fine, it's flimsy, but it's fine if I just leave it on the counter. If I'm carrying it around the house, we're probably gonna have problems. Even though it has a handle on it, I don't think it's meant to be carried around the house. This is like a step up from the caboodle. I think it's visually pleasing. It functions really well. I'm definitely recommending it. I mean, I'm using it. I'm keeping it out on my counter. If you have someone who needs to corral all their things and they have the counter space, I think this is great. I love the little matching fluted brush holder. It's adorable. I keep my tools and some other other bigger objects in the drawers. Does this house my entire everyday cosmetic collection? No, <laughs> but it does keep some of the bigger stuff that doesn't fit neatly in the drawers that I have all contained in a, in a nice pretty way. January is also the month where most of us attempt to get organized. So I did clean out my nightstand drawers and organize those. And I purchased this little, I mean, I don't think it's meant specifically for a nightstand, but these little felt drawer inserts to organize and, and keep contained all the little random things that we think we need in our nightstand. And I have found that I'm actually reaching for more of the stuff that's in there because I can see it out of sight, out of mind for me. So if I can see it, I'm gonna use it. I mean, the one place you wanna get rid of clutter is where you go to sleep at night. You want a calm, serene sleeping area. So I will admit it's really helped as I'm getting ready for bed and I'm reaching for the stuff like medicine and things that I take at night that every, when I open that drawer, it's a calming experience instead of going, wow, where is all that stuff? So really enjoying that comes in a few colors as well. Sticking with being organized this month, I went back to using lists and making lists and this notepad in particular has been really helpful. It has the days of the week here and then just a general lined list here and then another block for notes. And I really like this. I like the longer checklist and then I can put the appointments and things that are specific to the days on this side. I love this. They are a local Texas, I should say, small business, which I love to support as well, but they make really cute stuff. I've been giving a lot of their stuff out as gifts. So I just wanted to share that. They have a whole Valentine's collection. They're not paying me. They don't even know I'm talking about them, but I think it's a fun little brand. And this has helped me keep on task, which I'm not doing right now. So let's get to the next favorite. As you might guess, I spend a lot of time on my phone, looking at stuff on my phone, listening to podcasts while I work, answering comments and things like that on my phone. So I like to charge my phone throughout the day. And this phone charging stand can charge your phone if you have a MagSafe phone that does that here. And then you can place your AirPods or any wireless EarPod things here and those charge. So I have one of these already at my desk and I finally went ahead and got another one to sit next to where I put my makeup on in the bathroom because as you might guess, I spent a lot of time there as well. So I have the iPhone 15. This worked when I had the 14 as well. Bloop. So it shows it's not charging right now, obviously it's not plugged in, but it's handy, it's a nice little stand, you can move it around. I love this so much, obviously I've ordered this twice. I also gave these to each of my boys for Hanukkah and they love them and they have them at their work area too. And then my last of my lifestyle home favorites, the last favorite we're gonna talk about is this, kind of this arrangement. But first I need to preface it by saying I am aware that I can spend money on some crazy things, like a lot of money on jeans, on luxury handbags, like I get it. And then there's some things where I just balk, nope, not gonna spend the money. So I had seen a floral arrangement on the Pottery Barn website a few years ago. It was specifically in their Hanukkah decor and it looked a lot like this. And I thought it was three or $400. I mean, it was a lot. And I just thought, I think I could do that for cheaper. So I went to Home Goods and I found this. And then I went online and I looked up faux florals. And the one I want to mention are these hydrangeas, the white ones. I don't love the blue ones so much, but the white ones, because I recently repurchased these. I've had them, like I said, for years and they were starting to get a little yellow because where I had them placed, which is right in direct Western facing sunlight, and after a few years, they're gonna start to turn yellow. For about what you would pay for the same amount of fresh, real hydrangeas, you will get these and they will stay for years. So I think it's a pretty good deal. And now I am obsessed with trying to replicate, I'll show you a picture of this arrangement that I saw on the Pottery Barn website 
for my dining table. And again, I'm like, do I really need to spend $350? I think I can, I can do better. So I'm working on that and I've ordered some things. And if that works out, stay tuned. I'll probably share it over on Instagram and maybe even it'll make it to my February favorites. Who knows? So that's it for favorites for this month. Let's put, aren't these pretty? I mean, it just, it, whether they're real or faux, just flowers just make everything better. But thank you for hanging out with me today. Thank you again so much for all the sweet words you've sent my way. I apologize for not being able to respond to most of them. It's been an overwhelming and heartwarming amount of sweet comments. So thank you for being part of my family here. Thank you for truly being some of the best friends that I have never met. And I hope you had some fun today and I will see you in the next one. Bye.